What is going on guys? Welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn how to use Lava or the Large Language and Vision Assistant locally in order to do easy image recognition in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to use Lava locally on our system to do image recognition in Python today. And in order to have Lava running on our system, we're going to use a tool called Olama. You can get it by going to olama.com. You can just download it here for Mac, Linux and Windows. On Linux, it's just a simple curl command. And then all you have to do to get a model onto your system is you have to open up the command line and you have to type Olama pull and then the name of the model with the specification of the parameter size. Uh, if applicable. So you can go to models here, you can scroll through the different models that we have here, you can already see lava here, if you don't find it, you can just filter by name, and type lava, for example, then you can click on it. And you can see we have 7 billion, 13 billion and 34 billion, I'm going to go with a 13 billion, because I think this one is too large for my system. And this one is less capable. So I'm going to go with the uh, middle here. And basically, all you have to do is you have to say, oh, llama pull and then lava, and in my case now colon 13 billion. So this will then um, pull the model onto your system. And then that's basically all you need to do in order to have lava on your system. The rest is now just using the Olama package in Python to communicate with that model. Um, and to to basically provide it with some images and some text and then get a response from it. So that's all going to be done with the Python package. For this, we say pip three install Olama and then we can go right into the coding. Now for this video, I've prepared four copyright free images, image one, two, three, and four. And these are the images that we're going to provide to lava. And then we're going to ask certain questions about them, like how many dogs do you see in this image? Or what do you see here? Or uh, maybe I mean, in this case, probably we're not going to ask about the programming language, because the code is not very readable. But uh, chances are, we're not always going to get the perfect responses. This is not like a massively powerful model. But it does a quite decent job at recognizing what is in the image and describing it somewhat decently. So we're going to start by saying import Olama. And to send a basic request, what we're going to do is we're going to just say response equals Olama chat. And here now we're going to provide, first of all, the model that we want to use in our case, this is going to be lava 13 billion. Uh, of course, if you use 7 billion, you have to provide 7 billion here. And then we're going to provide a message history, we're going to say messages is equal to a list. And we're going to say here, role is going to be user, then the content is going to be the text prompt, something like describe this image. And then the third part here is going to be images and the images are going to just be um, a collection of paths to the images. So in my case, now I'm just going to provide here uh, point slash image one dot JPEG. And that is basically my prompt. So we're asking the model to describe the image, we're passing the image, and that's literally all we have to do to get the image recognition going. So we can print then response. And from the response, we want to get the message field or the message key value pair. And then we want to get from this the content of the message so that we get the text response of the model. So I can run this now. And we're hopefully going to see a decent description of this image here it should be something like a field of crop, or I don't know. Uh, now we have server disconnected without response. All right, now there seems to be some issue with me using the 13 billion parameter model and recording at the same time, it works when I'm not recording. But if I start using it and then start recording, the recording doesn't even start, it seems to be some issue with the GPU uh, capacity. So I'm going to just remove the 13 billion here, I'm going to just use lava, which is the 7 billion model. Uh, of course, this needs to be pulled separately. So Olama pull lava. And uh, then this should work. So let's see if this describes the image accurately, it should say something like, Oh, there you go. The image shows a serene rural scene in the foreground, there's a field of golden yellow crops that have likely been harvested or are in the process of ripening. Okay, very detailed here. Uh, definitely, it recognizes the, the core of the image. So let's go ahead and try something else. Let's go and say, we want to use image two, 
and uh, image two is basically a laptop. So let's see if it gives us some information about the programming language. I don't think that's too easy. I think this is HTML though, because we can see the tags here. Um, the image is a photograph featuring an individual working on a laptop appears to be typing on the screen. There's a visual representation of a graph or chart displaying various data points. Okay, that's not true. This is now hallucination. So it doesn't even recognize that this is code. Not even just a programming language, it doesn't recognize that this is coding at all. Um, but it recognizes that the table has a marble pattern. I think that's correct. Above the table, there's a surface. Uh, yeah, I don't know if that's true. Let's maybe try again and see if we get something else. If it recognizes that this is coding. A laptop computer working on a laptop displaying financial data chart or dashboard. No, not not quite. Let's try a third time. Oh, there you go. Uh, displaying code with color syntax, uh, syntax highlighting the language. Um, uses the trackpad. Okay, this is pretty good. So the third attempt was quite accurate. All right. So let's try now also the third one. And then I want to do something uh, specific for the fourth one. So the third one is just the pool. <clears throat> uh, depicts an indoor swimming pool area rectangular with light blue color. Okay, this works fine. Now for the fourth image, I want to now count the number of dogs in here. And you can see we have two dogs and two cats. So I'm um, uh, I'm curious to see if this works. So let's see if we say uh, how many, let me just see what the prompt is I prepared here, how many dogs are in this image. And then we're going to go with image four. There are three dogs in the image. Okay, that's not quite correct. There are three dogs in this image. Now this is now the difference I think between 7 billion and 13 billion. Because when I tested this before recording the video with 13 billion, it almost always recognized that there are two dogs in the image. So what I'm going to try to do now, maybe it will crash the recording is I'm going to try to just see if I get uh, if I can get the 13 billion uh, model running. If not, we're just going to accept it. But with the 13 billion parameter model, it was able to recognize two dogs and not more than two dogs most of the time. So I'm going to try again, probably this is going to crash because yeah, because I'm recording, but you can try at home if you have enough VRAM and enough RAM. But something that we can do besides that is we can ask it to to give us keywords, okay, it doesn't work. So yeah, unfortunately, but it did work with the 13 billion parameter model, I was able to get two as the default answer. Now, sometimes it would say one or three, but most of the time it would say two. Um, now what we can do, however, for any picture is we can use this to automate some process like hashtags or keywords of the image. So we can say something like provide five keywords uh, describing the image separated by commas. Now the 13 billion parameter model that did quite well, let's see if we can do the same thing with the 7 billion parameter model. There you go dog, cat, pet, cute animals. This is pretty good. Now let's see what happens if I do the same thing on image three. Pool, swimming pool, indoor pool, gym, recreation. Great. Let's do it for image two. Laptop programming work, man. Okay, these are just four. So it failed here. Let's try again. Technology computer coding workspace again, just four. Now we get five. Okay. And they're actually quite decent. Um, now, maybe we can try to just see how capable the model is. So we can say something like, come on, why can I not? There you go. What programming language is displayed on the laptop? Now, it's probably going to say Python because Python is the most default answer for everything. Uh, I tried this a couple of times. There you go. It says Python. I think Python is just a default answer every time you ask for a programming language, unless it really knows um, not clear enough to confidently identify. I mean, this is a good response, to be honest. But yeah, most of the time, it will say Python, even though it's pretty clearly HTML, I think. Seems so PHP, HTML, something like this. Alright, but this is how you can use lava locally on your system 
uh, with Olama and also on a server if you deploy it um, to easily automate these procedures. If you have a bunch of images that you want to annotate, you want to add some labels to them, you want to add keywords to them, you want to use hashtags or something for Instagram, you can do that easily with a local model like Lava. And if you have a more uh, powerful hardware than I have, or if you're not recording, you can probably also use more complex models and this will lead to better results. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.